but you guys, this, your buddy can dip here. This is a Panasonic Toughbook. So um, this computer I got um, used, but uh, it needs a new hard drive. So I'm going to be installing a new hard drive on this Panasonic Toughbook here. Give you guys a good idea. This is a really, it's it's their durable series. They use it uh, for anything that can stand, withstand impact. This is actually a pretty good condition. So I have to admit. One of the nicer ones. Buttons all work. Um, the thing is it needs a new hard drive. So I'm gonna open this up and actually install a new hard drive. So stay tuned for that. So I'm gonna check this out right now. Okay, so as you can see, this here is a CFC2. It actually has a stylus as well. It has touch screen. It has rotating uh, hinge on the screen itself. Uh, where is it? Hold on here. Let's do this side. So this is the caddy for the hard drive. As you can see, it slides right out. And it has a connector that, uh, and then basically I'm, I'm just gonna install new windows. As you can see, it's empty. So um, I'll install Windows 10 on this. Um, yeah, so. It's got a nice little handle, as you can see right back here. Rubber handle. Um, yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Definitely check it out, guys. So I'm going to do, be doing a couple upgrades. I'm going to check to see the RAM on this as well. So stay tuned, guys. I believe this is an i5. There you go. Yeah, it's an i5 um, processor. Um, all right, I'll be right pretty back, easy guys. for the hard drive in. Here's the cable that comes with it. You pop that lid open and here's the hard drive. You just slide this into the connector and it'll actually go in. So the question is if I should use this hard drive or should I get an SSD in there? So I'm probably gonna get an SSD, so I'll be back guys. Stay tuned. So here's the RAM drive. Uh, sorry, this is where the RAM goes in. Uh, there's only one slot, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's not dual slot. So um, unless I'm missing something, but I only see one. Yep, yeah, nope, one slot, sorry guys. So. Uh, this is the RAM that it originally comes in with. As you can see, it is a, uh, I believe it's an 8 gig trip. So, pretty sure this is an 8K, 8 gig chip. So, yeah, so that's uh, because you got four, four modules on the back here, and probably four on the other side. So, uh, if you want to upgrade this, you're going to have to get a. Um, like a one stick that is like sodium that is uh um 16 module so so there you go guys all right so i'm gonna upgrade this uh well i can't upgrade it i'm not gonna buy another sodium so all right guys stay tuned for more videos i'll be back and get this all put together with the so windows 10. This. so uh it's your buddy came to here so we're gonna be doing installing this wd ssd um uh, onto this uh panasonic toughbook this is the cf c2 um, I did a quick overview of it and uh, today we're just going to add the hard drive to it. So um, this was a almost like a refurbished model so I'll be right back. So the hard drive is in this little caddy. Well there's no hard drive in there now. That's why we have to put a new one in. So so here's the connector we have to install. It just goes like this and we put this side onto the SATA connector. Alright I'll be right back. And now that is installed, as you can see. And then this little metal case goes right back on top. All right. And then we just slide it back into this port right there. I'll be back, guys. All right, so that's installed again. Right there, there's the things. Now, I'm gonna boot it up and uh, we'll install Windows. All right, guys, I'm in the BIOS of the, of the uh, computer. As you can see, this is a CFC2. And check this out. It's got 2 gigahertz processor, uh, 8 gigs RAM, and a i5-4310. So, yeah, it's not the fastest, but it is uh, it's not bad, actually, uh, for what you get. So let me check the uh, boot here. Boot normal, I see. USB key, perfect. So uh, I'm gonna set this up and then I'm gonna have my Windows uh, boot on to a USB thumb drive. Be right back. All right, so it is uh, 
reading. It's going to take a while because it's USB 2.0. It's not USB 3, which is the sad part. It's going to take forever. But uh, you only have to do this once. So, And you can tilt the screen. And it, it is a touch screen. It is pretty neat. So I'll be back guys once I get this set up, I'll show you. As you can see, it's installing Windows right now, so it take a little bit, it's so slow. Uh, well, not super slow, but it it fails in comparison to my other computers. All right, but it is older, but uh, but it, like I said, has touchscreen, has all the capabilities, SD card reader in the front, pretty much everything you need. So it's a nice little computer. All right guys, stay tuned, yeah, I'll be back. As you can see, it's all done. Uh, hard drive's been installed with an SSD, and it is faster, um, but, you know, it is an older computer, so, it's, yeah. If you have any questions about the comments, guys, post below, subscribe to the channel.